hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to add firebase crash latex to your flutter app so let's get started so first i'll uh, create my project so i'll just name it as a uh, dummy project you can name it whatever you feel like then i'll click on continue i don't need google analytics i'll just click on create project and as you can see over here i have also created my flutter app so what i'll do is i'll just move it to my flutter app okay uh, so let's just uh, wait till this is completed okay then we'll click on continue and you will come over here then you will have to select this flutter icon and firstly you will have to install the flutter cli so if i open that particular link uh, here you can see that you can choose whatever OS you are on. I'm on Mac OS and basically most of you might be having Node.js installed uh, either uh, that's why I'm selecting this particular option and you will have to run this particular command. I have already run this command. You might have to append sudo to this particular command uh, to install it globally for Mac OS. Once that is done, you can just do Firebase login and it will automatically open a browser window for you and you will have to uh, whatever is google account you are you you are using for creating the firebase project make sure you log in with the same uh, user account okay once that is done so i have already done that we all i also have the flutter sdk i'll click on next then i'll just uh, take this particular command i'll go to my uh, project directory and i'll just paste it over here and it will do some stuff for me so here you, you as you can see it is telling me you need to fix this export path i'll just quickly take this and i'll enter it and i'll run again dart pub, pub global activate okay that is done then i'll just take this command i'll paste it again i'll run it okay so it will do all kinds of stuff for us then i'll click on next okay ignore this for now i'll click on continue to console we'll come back to this uh, okay this is taking little bit of time but after this command has finished we have to run one more command so i have written it down we have to run this particular command flutter pub add firebase core okay so let's wait for this okay so here you can select whatever what all uh, uh, OS you want this project to be so I'm just I just want it for Android and iOS so I'll uh, like I will I'm pressing my arrow key I have gone to Mac OS and I will just enter the space bar click the space bar because I don't want it for Mac OS I don't want it for web and I don't want it for Windows I only want it for Android and iOS and I click on enter then it asks me for the uh, application ID or for our Android project so I'll just go to Android app src build.gridle and here if you want you can change this namespace but i'm okay with this and i'll just paste my namespace and it has registered my app so it is just registering it then i'll just take this so this will take a little bit of time just be patient okay done then i just run this command flutter pub add firebase core then we will have to go to this documentation of crashletics select the flutter uh, option and to add crashletics i will just uh, use this particular command flutter pub add firebase crashletics i don't care about firebase analytics so i'm not running this so i'll again go over here and paste this particular command then we have to run this flutter firebase uh, flutter fire configure again so i'll just paste this command as well and it will ask i'll just click on enter i'll okay so it will just do some stuff for us all right once oh we don't need we don't need to run flutter run now we have to copy some code as well so i'll just copy paste this code 
okay and i'll go to my main dot dot file i'll close this and here i'll just paste it instead of the original command i will add all these imports okay so i think vs code is still catching up okay i'll add import for this i'll add import for this and i'll add import for this as well oh sorry i have taken the wrong it's not from uh, dart ui it, it is from flutter foundation package i'll click on this now uh, it has also given how to force crash an app so i'll just copy paste this code okay i'll scroll down and i will remove this home page widget completely if you want you can keep it i'll just uh, remove this i will create a new home page widget a simple one okay my home page then i'll take scaffold body safe area column children then here i'll just paste that particular text button okay now all we have to do is uh, just uh, run our uh, flutter run command uh, so everything is done so for ios uh, don't install cocoa pods manually like don't cd to ios directory and run pod install uh, don't try to run it via vs code just open your ios simulator from xcode uh, and then uh, just run flutter run it will automatically uh, do co pod install for you so we don't have to worry about it sometimes what i have noticed is that when i try to do pod install manually by myself it results in more issues so just run flutter run now i think uh, this will take a little bit of time so be patient i'll come back once the output is ready okay so i'm back to my project uh, i'll go to run i'll go to crashletics here you can see my uh, app is running on ios uh, i'll just click on ios oh, i have already added crashletics okay it is catching up i guess i'll just run this again i don't know why it is showing like this i have already added crash analytics okay just click on this add hdk we won't be adding this hdk okay and i'll just click on throw test exception so here you can see it has thrown this exception it does not crash our app now i will just refresh this okay this will take okay i'm on the android part sorry we have to go to ios part and here you can see it has detected the app so what i'll do is i will just do an hot restart again sometimes you will have to wait around 5 to 10 seconds for the crash to be reflected so just be patient or what you can do is you can crash your app multiple times uh, so for the first crash to be detected it does take a little bit of time so i'll just crash it again and i will just do an hot restart oh here you can see it has detected our crash okay event type crash this has an one upload okay so something like this right uh, so it has detected our crash i think it has detected our crash but i'm not sure why it is called cause telling us to upload a dsim.zip file maybe it is for uh, maybe it's because i'm running it on a simulator that's why it is telling me something like this but maybe if you try to do a real crash uh, then i think uh, this will uh, detect us uh, for us all right i'm not sure why it is telling us to do this it is telling me to uh, i'm not really sure sorry about this the app has one unprocessed crash but it definitely has a crash upload one dsm file to process them i'm not sure what this dsm file is maybe while generating the uh, release command you might be getting a dsm file uh, but anyways at least you can see that it is working for ios now the same thing i'll just what i'll do as i'll quickly run it for android as well and in the meantime let's see if there is something called dsi because in the 
documentation at least they have not specified any dsym oh, okay they have specified make sure that your project is using the recommended version and crash so that your project can and upload flutter symbol to clash latex yeah we are using it what if i do a complete restart of my app let's see if it works or not again i'll come back once this is ready okay now uh, the next part is for uh, uh, android then what uh, as you can see i have my app running and i'll just click on throw i'll just click on this particular button so it will throw that particular error i'll go to the android drop down and okay it is still uh, it has detected my app i'll just click on the button few times and then what i'll do is that i will again rerun my app so that uh, it should and here you can see it has det detected our crash so the uh, uh, crash is getting getting detected properly for android i'm still not sure why for ios it is telling me to uh, what is this dsim file missing required the missing dsim file is required to process crash it will be hidden for all project member cancel For DSIM, I found th this on Stack Overflow. Now, currently, I don't have my app uploaded to Test Flight or App Store Connect. If you have your app, you can try this particular thing. Uh, but I think, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.